schooled up right here. I can see them. I'm looking at them. Waiting on one of them to hit this leprechaun bomber. Just like that. There we go. What's going on, Salt Strong Nation? It's Matt, Matt Niak, and I'm back with some really quick tips for you guys. As we're moving into this fall season, I've been fortunate enough to test some new bomber profiles. Those bomber profiles are our five inch paddle tails, like you see here with the Fred Bomber. That's a five inch paddle tail, and it does have a really nice size on it. Uh, and you can cast this thing a mile, that's why it's called the Bomber. Uh, and these resemble the size of the bait that's out in the inshore areas that we like to fish that we like to search for these uh, redfish speckled trout flounder and snook this five inch swim bait style lure does a really great job of matching the hatch that's out on the flats now as most of us know fall fishing comes with throwing larger bait profiles because that bait that's out there on the flats uh, is a lot larger in that fall period so this is great for this time that we're going into and i've been fortunate enough to not only test out the new fred bomber that is actually now in the tackle shop at fishstrong.com so if you'd like to pick up this one it is available but i've also been fortunate enough to test out the alabama leprechaun bomber i call it the alabomber i've uh, caught some really big redfish on both of these lures uh, on a couple of occasions and I've had some really great days uh, I caught a bunch of trout on this trout absolutely demolished this bomber and the redfish that I caught on this came out of a school uh, and he absolutely crushed it so I've had some really solid days with both of these and the catch with the Alabama I promise you I will never forget because I came close to breaking uh, quite a few rods and uh, you know losing a fish all in the fight it was quite the experience and I'm sure I'll never forget it as you'll see in the footage but I want to tell you how I use these uh, to target those bigger fish on those days as well so let's go ahead and jump into why I would like to use this one and when I would like to use the Alabama. So that Fred paddle tail, that Fred color, that Fred stands for fooling redfish every day. And I can tell you that it does do in fact do that. That Fred color is one of my favorite colors that we have here at Salt Strong because it does a really great job of standing out in all water clarities. Uh, I think it's a really great middle ground if you have freshwater runoff or if you have any silt in the water. This Fred profile does a really great job of standing out and giving those fish an easy target to see for them to hunt down that lure. This Alabama, it has that green with that red flake in there with the gold as well. It does a really great job of standing out on those grass flats. It looks really great when that sun is up and you need something to uh, kind of blend into the grassy situation, that grassy environment. But you also need something that's going to stand out as well uh, and, and provide a, a good target for those fish. And with that gold flake in there, with the flash of this, and with the additional thump that you get from these larger bait profiles with these 5-inch paddle tails, as you can see, they have a really nice wobble to them so that they release a lot of vibration in the water, giving those fish a really easy target when they're trying to track down that lure so that they can find that meal. As I said, these are just two of the options that are now available uh, in the bomber color. We have also the classic slam shady color as well as the gold digger color. Those are great options as well. And I've caught great fish on those as well. So, uh, and those also have their place in their conditions. I just released a video on tricking big fish with these bomber profile baits. So if you're interested in seeing that, Go ahead and check out the video that we'll link in the description so you can see uh, when you would want to use the different colors and different types of this profile. As you're able to see with this Alabama here, I do have it rigged on that Haas Helix hook right there. And that is my preferred pairing right there. I've actually been rigging these up on that for quite some time. And that's actually what I caught all of the fish that's been in the footage in this video. Uh, because that just does a really great job of allowing this bait to remain weedless and come through any type of structure that I may be fishing 
switching around. So that is my preferred pairing, and that Haas Helix hook is available, just like the bomber profiles that I've mentioned in this video. All of that is available at fishstrong.com at our online tackle store. So if you're interested in picking up or trying out any of those, you can do so at the tackle shop. So go ahead and head there if you're interested in that. And again, I want to remind you that our insiders do save 20% off all of their tackle. So they do get exclusive discounts at our tackle shop at fishstrong.com. So keep that in mind. And if you are interested in more awesome saltwater fishing tips like these, be sure to check us out at saltstrong.com. Also, if you guys have other favorite fall lures that you like to throw in this fall period to get some of these big bites like I'm looking for in this fall period, let me know down in the comment section so I can uh, be sure to try those lures and those presentations out. I always want to try new things and i appreciate hearing from you guys but until next time we'll see you in the next video and if you're new to salt strong just know that we are the number one online fishing club in america we actually guarantee to help you find and catch more fish save money on tackle make friends while doing it or it's free so we hope to see you in the salt strong insider club soon and thanks for watching